Hello and welcome. In today's video, we will embark on a testing journey with Yuzu on Android. We will explore a selection of games, including Nintendo Switch exclusives and other popular titles like Persona 5, which you'll surely enjoy playing in your leisure time. To support the production of challenging videos like this one, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. And if this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel to stay updated with all the latest content. This video is offered by the members and Patreons of the channel. Thank you for your support. First, let's talk about the device settings, which will be detailed in the description. To ensure the most accurate capture, I used a capture card, which unfortunately is limited to 30 FPS, but the actual frame rate will be recorded for each game. The device is running all games at a 720p resolution, which is suitable for a smartphone screen. Even on a device with a Full HD Plus screen, the image quality is good. The app is configured to work in handheld mode. The main recommendation when running Yuzu on your Android device is to keep the temperature low. For this, I used a smartphone cooler, which was sufficient to prevent thermal throttling. I will also provide an evaluation of performance and touchscreen usability, in case you don't have an external controller. For those who prefer to play with a controller, I recommend the DualShock 4. Unfortunately, the Android controller API doesn't yet support motion controls. Another point to note is that when using Yuzu, controller vibration doesn't work. If you enable vibration, it's the device itself that will vibrate. It's important to remember that each game may perform and work better with specific drivers. In the description, I will provide information on which drivers you should use if the game isn't rendering correctly. Don't worry, this process only changes the video driver of the app and doesn't affect the Android system itself. Lastly, it's important to mention the Yuzu Recompilus. Yuzu still uses Recompilus based on the Windows version, which means the conversion of native Switch instructions to Windows instructions, and then to Android instructions, occurs in three steps. This can affect compatibility and consume more resources, resulting in performance drops. Without further ado, let's start presenting the games. I won't comment on all of them, just those for which I have something to add. Animal Crossing New Horizons, despite seeming like a simple game, has a significant issue. It has a high demand for RAM, which means that 8GB may not be enough. Over time, the game starts requiring more RAM until the app breaks. Maybe 12GB would be enough to run it stably. Bayonetta 2 runs well, although it uses all of the GPU's resources. Bayonetta 1 was tested but breaks after the menu. As for Bayonetta 3, the performance is poor. Fire Emblem Warriors has issues and makes the screen flicker when performing certain moves. Fire Emblem Engage, which had issues in the Windows version of Yuzu, surprises by running well on Android. As a strategy game, it's quite playable with on-screen controls. On the other hand, Fire Emblem Three Houses uses 100% of the GPU and has poor performance. If Mega Man 11 doesn't work correctly on your device, try using a different video driver. Mario Kart 8 was a surprise, with 12 minutes of gameplay without major issues.
For Persona 5 fans, Yuzu is the best place to play it on Android. Although EGNS runs the game, many objects are not rendered correctly. Pokemon Legends Arceus also faces RAM allocation issues, causing slowdowns and app crashes after a few minutes. Similarly, Pokemon Scarlet faces memory allocation problems, performance drops, and app crashes. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate works very well, even with four players on the screen. It only has issues when compiling the initial shaders. In Sonic Forces, some objects are not rendered correctly, regardless of the video driver used, but the game's speed is very good. Even refrigerators and washing machines were able to run Doom in 2000. In this decade, any app or device should be able to run Sonic Mania, and Yuzu is no exception. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 has problems with excessive RAM usage and crashes. A full video analyzing the best way to play this game with DLC is available on the channel. You can play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild as long as you have at least 12GB of RAM. The same RAM limitation applies to Tears of the Kingdom. I hope this video has been useful for you, and stay tuned for tests of various games on EGNS, which is the best Nintendo Switch app in my opinion. Until the next video!